Hello, Jim Likens here again, um, doing another review today. Um, I'm going to review the uh, United Cutlery, um, there we go, M48 uh, Tactical Walking Axe is what they call it. Um, not a bad piece of equipment. I'm not a fan of United Cutlery by any stretch of the imagination. But for $49, uh, I thought I'd go ahead and get one. And I bought this about two years ago when I had $49. Um, I've made some modifications to it. I put a new end on it that I just bought at a drugstore for canes. And I wrapped it with paracord. Uh, the reason I wrapped it, you can see the end there and how that goes on. Uh, this composite plastic type of handle gets slippery. The uh, paracord negates that. It gives a, sh a sure and firm grip in the hand. Um, the reason I want to review this is there's really only a few reviews out there on YouTube or in the knife world. Um, most of the reviews are going to be on Amazon.com under people who like this product. I never trust those. I, I kind of get the impression from them that their ghost accounts by the company trying to sell the product to tell you how great it is and it's the best thing they've ever spent their money on. And then they throw in one or two, I don't like it. I uh, uh, just don't trust it much. The ones on YouTube, again, um, young kids buy these and then they take them out and they basically they see if they can destroy it. And they do. Um, I could take the best made sword in the world out into the woods and destroy it on a tree too. That, to me, that's not really a test of whether or not it's a good product. So the, the handle is supposed to be some kind of fiberglass, plastic mix, 30, 60, 90, I don't know. Um, they say it's virtually indestructible, which means when you break yours, they will tell you that well, that's the one thing that we don't cover on our warranty, that you, you shouldn't have done that. The reality is, like any piece of equipment, you can break it if, if you're not careful with it or if you're abusing it. But primarily, it just falls into a wrong, to, wrong tool for the job. You're, you're doing something with it that it's not designed for. So what is this designed for? Let me give you a close-up of that head while I talk to you. What it's designed for is it's a personal walking stick, a cane, that can be used as a self-defense tool. And that's about the end of it. This is not a protracted in the field weapon. It's not designed for that. Um, if you think you can spend $49 and get something you could go back in time to the Viking era and stand in a shield wall, you're, you're, you're sitting on the couch fantasizing about the tools you've bought. Um, this is what it is. Now, as a cane, it fits the hand almost perfectly. Now the back side of this, which you hold to grip it when you walk, is actually touted by the company as a war hammer. And I'll be honest with you, I've, I've hit some, some things to see how it works and I, I think it would function in that capacity. Um, it's stout, it's got a sharp point. Um, yeah, I mean I wouldn't hesitate to hit with that. The good thing is it gives you a less lethal option on this tool. You get a good lawyer and you you have to defend yourself and you hit somebody in the ribs with this and break a rib, you could argue that I didn't use the cutting edge. I, I purposefully chose to hit with a non-lethal option. I wasn't trying to kill them. This does come with this little gizmo. Um, it's basically a blade shroud. It's not quite a sheath, but it fits over the end and then it clicks together with friction in the holes in, in the blade itself. Um, people complain about that too, but I see there's no pleasing you. I've had this for two years. I've never had any issues with it. It doesn't fall off in public. It's, it's a positive lock. It fits. It kind of takes the scariness away from it. Um, I carry this around Fort Collins, Colorado, and I've only had one person in the two years that I've carried this to the store and other places say to me, oh my God, is that an ax? And he's a knife guy too, so it caught his eye. The average person doesn't even notice it when you're walking with it. It just looks like a fancy cane head. Now, what this isn't, it's not a zombie apocalypse tool. And I've covered the zombie apocalypse in another video. I don't really think there's going to be one. But uh, a full-on shit hits the fan, solar flare, modern world is gone. This is not going to be your primary thing you take with you when you have to leave your burning house. 
Um, it is what it is. Um, casual stroll in the neighborhood, a little bit of protection in your hand. Um, if you're in the woods and you need a tool to cut wood, then you're going to want something like that. Carry one of these. Look how thick that is. It's designed to deal with trees, branches, wood. Um, because of that, it's a little awkward as a weapon. It's a little heavy. Um, this is not designed for that. Now, could I cut branches with this? Sure. And God forbid I go out and clear some brush. Um, I talked about that in another video. Um, I could. Um, the guys that reviewed this on YouTube that took it out to try and break it, um, they seem to have failure right here in the head while they're chopping heavy wood or large logs. Um, it's not designed for that. So yeah, it's going to break. Perhaps if United Cutlery made the same shaft out of titanium and put about 19 more ounces in this head, it could, it could deal with a tree, but it's not what it's designed for. Uh, but having said that, I really like this thing. Uh, when I go hiking here in Colorado, I take it with me. Um, you know, people, well, it's not long enough. It's long enough for me. I'm 5'9", and I've never had any problems with it. Um, I've taken it to the store. I generally don't carry a firearm. Um, I can, and I'm trained with it, but I, I just don't like the weight in my hip. I'm sorry, but I'll carry this. Yeah, maybe I'm the guy that brought an ax to a gunfight. Well, that'll be on me. But sometimes I just don't feel like doing that. This, this feels pretty good in the hand. Now, talking about the way it's designed, um, it's not a chopper, it's a cutter. You know, it's, it's designed for a wide two-hand grip and cuts um, with the end. It's good at thrusting, the Warhammer's good, but I'm not gonna take this and chop down a, a 12 inch diameter tree with it. it. It won't make it through that. So it's almost, in my mind, it's almost a disposable self-defense tool. You know, it's, it's not a, a battlefield weapon. I'm not going to use this in campaigns. Not that I go on campaigns, but, you know, it, it's got about one good use in it, I think, for a fight. And then you're probably going to be looking at some damage to it, especially if you're using the shaft to block anything heavy or edged. You know, you're going to take some pretty serious cuts on this, on this shaft. But other than that, for what it is, if you just want a good walking stick with the added protection of a a cutting surface plus a nice um, bludgeoning end for blunt trauma. This is not a bad product. Uh, I can't complain about it too much. I, mostly because I don't live in a fantasy world thinking, well, they designed this so I could go back in time and fight Vikings. That's not what it is. So anyway, if you like, if you like this review, just hit like. Um, for forty nine dollars, you really can't go wrong with this thing. Um, it's almost a razor. Um, I guess in a survival situation, if I had the tools, I could take the, uh, the head out of the shaft and you can see there that the shaft actually runs down to right about there and it's got these screws in it. I could take that out and use it in my hand to cut like a knife, maybe, maybe build shelter or skim game. I could do that. I don't think I'd want to. Um, you know, when we talk about shit hits the fan or the zombie apocalypse or uh, anarchy, whatever, and no, probably never in my lifetime, but it's my hobby. I prepare for it. Um, something like this, far better choice, a kukri. Um, uh, this is one, again, I modified the sheath and put some smaller, more delicate cutting instruments on it. But this thing, you know, uh, that's a weapon. It's also a tool. I, I probably would forego that and take this with me if I had to. Um, I'll be doing a review on this Kukri soon. Um, this is a traditional one made in Nepal. Uh, a good friend of mine, Johnny Tai, um, he's the director of Kuma uh, Survival School. Uh, he has designed a really good modern Kukri called the Takri. Uh, the comic book character Snake Eyes carries one of these things. I just, with seven kids, I don't have the money to get one of those yet, but if you're into that kind of blade, I would look into Kuma's Takri. Um, you can't go wrong with that either. But if you like this video, click like. Um, I'll be putting up more reviews uh, over the coming weeks on some of the stuff that I've bought and kept. Usually I buy stuff and then 
I'm kind of hem high around it and I give it to, give it away to friends. I don't even trade it. I just end up giving the stuff away. But I have certain stuff I've kept over the years because I like the way it functions. Um, so I'll be reviewing those and, and maybe you can get some ideas for your own gear from that. And uh, with that, I'll see you next time.